Hi everyone, this is the Charles Veach coronavirus update. Today is the 23rd of March, Monday, 2020. We are here in a very quiet, and as soon as I say quiet, a big loud truck is coming, of course, but it's maybe 90% quieter than it normally is on the lunchtime on a working weekday. Most people have heeded the warnings to stay at home. Um, it's just your, um, your friendly YouTuber who has to come out into the field to shoot a video. I am um, maintaining social distancing. They say two meters apart. I've seen these air droplets, people sneezing and coughing. I'm staying 10 meters apart. Don't come near me, proles. Stay away, NPCs. Keep your, your woo flu to yourself. Today's video is titled Stuck in the Middle with Flu because from everything I've researched, and again, I'm not a scientist, I'm not a statistician, I'm not a virologist, I'm not an epidemiologist, but from what I can see, I'm basing the death rate because it's too early. We're like three months in, four months in, there's still a quarter million active cases. I'm looking at the conclusions, so you know, like. Let's say there's any given Saturday or any given Sunday for American football. Let's say on any given Saturday there's a hundred football matches and you're trying to figure out how many goals are scored on average per match. You could try and do this, you know, at 45 minutes, you're gonna get skewered results halfway through. So all you can do is say halfway through the day, take the football matches that have ended, have a look at their goal ratios and say, right, okay, of the matches that have finished, this is the ratio. There were 2.7 goals scored per match. Now, with the coronavirus, the Wu flu, the, the China virus, the CCP virus, whatever you want to call it, you're not allowed to call it Kung flu because that's racist, even though the Chinese are very powerful and it's a good play on Kung Fu. It's still racist. Are the Chinese a race or are they a nationality? I don't anyway. From what we have, the scores on the conclusion so far, of the cases that have either recovered or died, we have a mortality rate of 13%. 87% live, 13% die. Now this is of the cases that of course been tested and they have been concluded. Now people are be screaming at the screen now saying, no Charlie, that isn't the real death rate. The real death rate is maybe half a percent, one percent, one point two percent, because they say, oh, there's millions of people around the world who have coronavirus, who aren't showing big symptoms. So of course they won't go to hospital, they won't receive an official coronavirus medical test, and they won't be added to the figures. Okay, that's fine. Okay, but I'm not gonna play Schrodinger's virus, Schrodinger's infection. Until you test someone with a reliable and accurate coronavirus test, they are Schrodinger's patient. Either they have it or they don't. You can only base your mortality figures on concluded cases to be reasonable, I guess. There is an argument that, you know, panic is a lot more deadly than the actual virus. And I can understand. I don't agree with it. And if I were Mr. Randy Pan, the government man, I would trust my adult population to hear the truth, deal with the truth, no matter how harsh or horrible it was. There's that line out of the film Contagion when um, Heisenberg, or Malcolm in the Middle's dad, he says, nobody gets to know until everyone knows. And I think there's something of that happening here because China and all the world's media, they're, they're giving out a kind of half a percent mortality rate, China saying no new infection, it's all lies. You know, like, it, it, just imagine, it's basically, this is like the Soviet Union having a look at the crops. If, if, you're, if your um, epidemic isn't obeying the rules of Marxism and Engels and Soviet mythology, then you just, ca you just cancel the virus. You just stop testing for it. You say these people aren't dying from Corona, they're dying from something else, and there you go. You have a Chinese Communist Party friendly virus who does as it's told, just like the Chinese citizens. Stuck in the middle with flu. Look at this, the trams are still running. Everything's gonna be okay, but it's not. I mean, look, I've taken precautions. Very worried about my parents. They're both in their mid to late 70s. They're in the danger zone. 
They live in a town called Kelso in Scotland. There's already confirmed cases in Kelso. Kelso is about as small and rural and backwardy a Scottish town as you can get. And they have confirmed cases there. Someone wrote to me. I haven't responded yet, saying, Charlie, this is SARS-2. So I typed in SARS-2, Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome 2, on the internet and did a bit of research on the SARS outbreak of 2003, 17 years ago. There were 800 confirmed infections. Sorry, 8,000 confirmed infections and 800 dead, giving a total confirmed mortality rate of 9.6%. Now that wasn't very contagious, it had an R0 of 1.3, just like, no, in fact, less than the common cold, less than the seasonal flu, which is why only 8,000 people out of a population of about 6 billion at the time, 20 years ago, got it. Corona Chan, sorry, coronavirus, NCOV, NCOV 2, COVID-19, have you got the COVIDs? He's got the COVIDs, he's coughing, he's having a coof. Coronavirus has an R0, which is how many people will a person infect per day, of between 1.4 to 3.9. 3.9, that means that after the 10th iteration, the 10th squaring, the 10th, yeah, squaring, I guess, you've infected 100,000 people, whereas an R0 of the seasonal flu or SARS or MERS, you've infected maybe 20 people at the end of a 10th iteration. So, very interesting times. I'm not going to go on to the economy on this video. I'm not going to talk about the stock market. Everything's finished. It's all finished. This is rebuilding the world in a different way. Very interested, though, in the metaphysics, the symbolism, the meaning of the coronavirus. At a time where I guess people had lost faith in the future in the developed world. The birth rate had dropped below the replacement rate whether it's for Japan, especially Japan, Japan, South Korea, China, Germany, England, Scotland. Even in the richer parts of Africa, people had stopped believing in the future and, you know, stop having kids, stop having families, become obsessed with becoming mini Auschwitz guards. Everyone's wanting to enforce cultural morality. You can't say that, that's racist, that's sexist, that's homophobic, that's transphobic. And now these same people are now trying to enforce an unofficial quarantine here in the UK. Look, I can understand the British do things in a different way. We don't impose quarantines and then go out hitting people with truncheons and imposing 50 pound fines for people who want to go out in the street, want to do exercise. That's not the British way. We fought two world wars to not have people in jackbooted black uniforms telling us that we can't go outside. So the government is strongly advising, but you've got all over Facebook, all over YouTube, all over social media, people saying, oh no, you, you, you have to do as you're told. And you see the many concentration camp guards, it comes out. And again, it's this whole like, you know, it's how they justify it, you know. Oh, if you go out, you might infect my granny. Or if your, your kid goes to school, he might come home and then via my kid, I might get infected. So there's a suspicion, there's this isolation there's this almost denunciation of each other. We're almost at the point where little commissars, little wannabe Stalins are gonna be phoning up the hotline. Oh yeah, my neighbor, he broke the quarantine, send the goons round. The industrial way of living leads to the industrial way of dealing with things. And it's not natural, it's not cool. So it's a sunny day. I gotta go back to work. I have an isolation chamber at work almost hermetically sealed but just interesting times I promise to update you guys every every few um, days here during this outbreak so keep safe keep healthy the best advice I guess I can give I mean everyone's saying isolate probably if you're worried isolate but eat well hydrate well keep a sunny optimistic disposition even just the placebo of believing you won't get the virus the placebo of believing that you'll be fine can and will help you. I think there's a whole new video, a whole other video that we could do the symbolism, the metaphysics of the coronavirus. But for now, just wanted to give you a bit of an update. Stuck in the middle with flu.